In this video, we are going to show you how to rip Rahan's nuts off. So Rahan, our young lad that works for us in the warehouse, he also does a bit in the engineering office, he has bought, he's just passed his test and he has bought this fine machine, this Volkswagen Polo. Um, it's just failed the MOT and we've got to get the wheels off because we've got to look at the handbrake and we've got to look at the front wishbones. We may do a video on that but we've fallen at the first hurdle because he bought the car and I said, you've got a locking wheel nut key. And he's like, no, so come and have a look. We need a locking wheel nut key. So in this video, we're gonna show you the laser locking wheel nut removal tool. And Destiny is gonna have a go at ripping Rahan's nuts off. Come and have a look. So you see here, we've got the normal nuts. These are easy to take off, but this one, and I've got one off already. So, and it's got like this complicated pattern. They ought to do it in like the Nuremberg ring outline, didn't they? Um, now, we did go online, I'll put a picture on the screen, and there are people on eBay that sell the keys for these, and we worked out it's a 530 key, and you just have to study the picture very carefully. But be careful, when you look at the picture of the key, it's, it's, if that's the, the pattern of the nut, your key is the same, but when you see them on the screen, they will be a sort of reflection of each other. You need to sort of flip the image of this one, so it'll be a mirror image that you're looking for if you're looking at the key for the nut you've got. Right, let's have a look. So, what do Rahan's nuts look like? So, uh, that's for later. So that is the locking wheel nut. So this bit spins, look, and so you can't turn it and you can't grab it. So we went to see our local garage, our friend Mr. Cobb at the local garage, and he said, Simon, you wanna use these, this'll do the job. So he's kindly lent me his kit of tools. Now. This is the one we need. And it seems like he's got this whole kit look. And this is the only one I think he's ever used. And I think he uses it all the time. So the inside here is just a conical taper. So it's completely round. It's got no ribs or ridges in it. And you just whack this on and gently the taper goes on. And it must, as it goes on, compress this bit. And I think it compresses it so much it actually grips the nut. And then you've got the thing here that can turn it off. Now, it sort of worked, sort of. Now, but we are gonna do a product test. Destiny is gonna have a go. Now, what do you get in the kit? So you get all these different sizes. Okay, and you get, what, what does this one do? This one, you put on there, so when you're hammering it, you've got room to get your hand out of the way and you don't damage this face look. So that's the, then what are we gonna call that? What's a good word for that, Destiny? The drift, that's a technical term. That's the drift for knocking that on. And look, you can see that's been abused a bit. right? And this is the ejector, because you end up with, and trust me, I work this, you end up with that stuck in there really tight. So you've got to put that in the vise, whack that, and then boosh, and then that will fire that out. Um, but that's easier said than done. That was the harder bit of the process, my right, destiny, that is it. So you need that, you need the drift, and you need the big hammer, and you are gonna have a go, you know, ripping those off. So let's have a look. So destiny can take all her stress and anger out on Rahan's nuts. All right then, so you are gonna have to give it a proper whack. I reckon harder than that. Really? Yeah, I reckon really. Right, try that, that's enough. Right, now you get your impact driver on it and see whether that, make sure it's on reverse and make sure that, see if that will come off. It, now, if it's not tight enough, it will just spin on the nut. If it is tight enough, the nut will come off. Oh, look at that. Pro. Now, we've got to work out how to get that out. So let's go and grab the ejector tool. Choo -choo that ejector one there, right? Now, Gary broke our voice. Our, vo our voice is in the sick bay. So I made up this little column. So you hold that there, go and get the hammer, and we'll have a go and see. This is the slightly trickier bit. Right then, I'll go. No. No. Not having it. I told you this was the trickier bit. It's 
still probably nothing. easier with a voice. I ain't having it. Oh, now, well, you don't want to watch this forever, but you can see that's hard. Now, what happened to me last time was, if you just grab the camera again, Destiny, the, um, well done. This ring that formed the top of the nut, sort of, I'm punching it, I punched that out, and this was left in the tool. And what I had to do was I have to put the Dremel with a little grinding wheel, grind it, and so it's so thin. Can you see that there? I've made it super thin. And then I managed to get it out, so it was quite a pain. But it did do the job, and it did get the nuts off. So there you go. Laser, one thing I don't know, I've got no idea. I can't work out what that's for. It's a beautifully made tool, um, but I've got no idea what it does. But that's part of the kit I don't understand. But there we go. Tool, got to have it.